Hello and welcome again. If you have gone through the spoken tutorials first time with Orca and adjusting speech to preferences dialog, then you will now be comfortable enough with Orca's speech output. This tutorial takes a slightly different path. Here we are going to look at how Orca responds to changes on the desktop. The purpose of this tutorial is to get you acquainted with Orca's way of providing feedback to pop-ups and other events. So, let's first start Orca. Press Alt plus F2 to get the run dialog and then enter Orca. Welcome to Orca, X Nautilus desktop frame. If you recall what you learned in the tutorial first time with Orca, then you will remember how we opened the text editor. Press Alt plus F1 to open the applications menu. Right Alt, top expanded edge panel frame, applications menu. To navigate, press the left or right arrows. To move through items, press the up or down arrows. Now press down arrow for accessories menu. Now, accessories menu, A. To enter a sub-menu, press the right arrow. Press right arrow for opening the sub-menu. Right. Calculator. C. To activate, press space. Now keep pressing down arrow till you locate the G-Edit text editor. Now. CD slash DVD creator. C. Now. Character map. C. Now. Disk Usage Analyzer, D. Now, E Desk Looks, G. E. Now, Edit Text Editor, G. E. Press Enter to open the editor. Return, X Nautilus Desktop Frame, Icon New Layer Pane Zero Items, Applications Menu Menu. To enter a sub-menu, press the right arrow, Unsaved Document 1, Edit Frame, Unsaved Document 1, Page Text. Type in text. As you hear, Orca tells you that the text editor is open with an unsaved document. Wish to confirm? Press numpad insert plus numpad enter. Laptop users can press caps lock plus front slash. In center. Unsaved document one edit. This key combination lets you read the title bar of a window. Now, let's type a few lines in the text editor. O, R, C, A, Orca, R, S, is, A, A, F, R, E, E, 3, A, N, D, and, O, P, E, N, open, S, O, U, R, C, E, source, S, C, R, E, E, N, screen, R, E, a, D, E, R. Reader. Orca is a free and open source screen reader. I, T, it, R, E, A, D, S, reads, N, O, T, not, J, U, S, T, just, T, E, X, T, text, B, U, T, but, A, L, S, O, also, O, T, H, E, R, other, a, T, T, R, I, B, U, T, E, S, attribute, I, N, in, A, N, D, and, A, R, O, U, N, D, around, T, H, E, L, F, O, C, U, S, focus. It reads not just text, but also other attributes in and around the focus. O, R, C, A, Orca, L, E, T, S, Let's, Y, O, U, U, D, O, U, A, L, L, All, T, H, E, L, D, E, S, K, T, O, P, Desktop. A, C, D, I, V, I, D, I, E, S, activities. W, I, T, H, O, U, D, without. S, I, G, 
exhibited without sighted assistance. Okay, now let's see how to save this file. Every application has a menu bar at the top of the screen. Press Alt plus F to access the file menu. Right Alt, File Menu, U, N, Control N, to activate press space. You can press the down arrow key till you locate the save option. You also heard Orca telling you the shortcut key which you can use next time. Down, open, O, control O, down, save, S, control S. Hit enter and you will hear the save dialog open. Return, save as, name, text, unsaved document one selected, alt N, type in text. As you can see, Orca has responded by telling you the current location. Orca just told us that we are focused on the field to enter the name of the file. By default, the name is unsaved document 1, as you just heard. You can press backspace just once to erase the default value. Backspace, unsaved document 1. Well, you also heard Orca telling us that the value was selected. That's why pressing backspace once deleted it. Now, Type whatever name you like. I will save it as first file and hit enter. F I R S T F I L E. Return. Asterisk unsaved document one. Edit frame. First file page text. Assistance. Type in text. Your document will be saved in the home folder. You can confirm this by reading the title bar. If you have followed this tutorial carefully, you would recall that you can press numpad insert plus numpad enter on the desktop or caps lock plus front slash on the laptop. Insert. Enter. First file tilde. Get it. So far we have seen how to create a file. Now, let's see how we can read the contents in the file. You already know that up and down arrow can read the document line by line, but you can read the entire document in one go. Press Ctrl plus Home to go to the top of the file. Write Ctrl, Orca in a free and open source screen reader it reads not just. Now press Numpad plus on the desktop. Orca is a free and open source screen reader. It reads not just text, but also other attributes in and around the focus. Orca lets you do all the desktop activities without sighted assistance. You can also use caps lock plus semicolon on the laptop layout. As you could hear, Orca read the entire document we had created earlier. But what if we add some more content to this file and quit the editor without saving the changes? Well, Let's see how Orca respond to such a situation. Add another line to the file. Press enter and type a new line. Return. T H I S this I S is A N O T H E R another L I N E line D O two T H E L E X I S D I N G existing F I L E file. This is another line to the existing file. Now go to the file menu by Alt plus F shortcut. Right file menu new N Control N to activate press space. Now press up arrow to locate the quit option. Up. Quit. Q. Control Q. Hit enter to close the text editor. Return question save changes to document first file before closing. If you don't save, changes from the last three minutes will be permanently lost. Save button. Alt S. There you are. The desktop flagged a warning through a pop-up. As you can hear, Orca also reads any message that comes up during an activity. 
In this case, Orga is telling us that desktop has warned us about the unsaved file. You can press tab around to see that there are close without saving, cancel and save buttons. Let us hit enter or space bar on the save button. Tab. Save changes to document first file before closing. Tab. If you don't save, changes from the last three minutes will be permanently lost selected label. Tab. Close without saving button. Alt W. Tab. Cancel button. Alt C. Tab. Save button. Alt S. Read asterisk first file tilde edit frame. First file page read only text. This is another line to the existing file. Type in text. X Nautilus desktop frame. Icon new layered pane zero items. You will realize that the text editor is closed. Now let's find where our file is and try opening it again. All files and folders for your user account is found in the home folder. To access the home folder, you are required to press Alt plus F1 and move to the places menu by using right arrow. Right up top expanded edge panel frame. Applications menu. Right. Places menu. P. Now press the down arrow once to locate the home folder. Down, home folder, H. To activate, press space. Hit enter. Return, X Nautilus desktop frame. Icon new layer pane zero items. Places menu menu. To enter a sub menu, press the right arrow. SVC, file browser frame. Icon new layer pane. In your home folder, you can use the arrow keys to navigate the files and folders. The other way is to type the first few characters on the board. Like a dictionary, every character you type takes you closer to the item you want to access. So, I typed F and then locate the file using down arrow to find my file. F. First file plain text document icon. Text. F. Type in text. I will hit enter to open the file. Return. First file tilde, edit frame. First file page text. Orca is a free and open source screen reader. It reads not just. Type in text. You can see the file open in the text editor. So you now know how to create and read files. We will see more things in the coming tutorials. This is Duhita and Samir signing off.